Brian Mike with River King Outfitters and your fishing report for the Lake Mojave and the Colorado River in the Bullhead and Laughlin area. Uh, we've got a lot of catching up to do. It's been tournament week for the past two weeks. We hosted a tournament, fished in a tournament. We were wiped out, but we're here with a report. Um, first, we have a lot of announcements going on. There's a lot going on in the striper world and the bass world. So first, here's a word from Billy Egan, the tournament director for Western Outdoor News. Hey guys, Billy Egan, tournament director for Western Outdoor News and Juan Bass. Just got home from beautiful Lake Mojave for the Laughlin Open here at Strands Beach. Left the heat for the beach. It's a little cloudy, but it's going to warm up. But guess what? Next weekend is the 41st anniversary Striper Derby. Brought to you by Western Outdoor News at Lake Havasu. We're doing it this year at the brand new Riviera Marina. It's a two-day big fish striper tournament. Teams of two go out for the best 10 fish each day. And after two days, we give first place to 10th place prizes to all the anglers who are able to bring in some lemons. We're also raffling off a Klamath boat, 16 foot Klamath boat with a Suzuki 40 horsepower on it and you don't even have to catch a fish. There's blind bogeys, there's big fish pots, there's tons of raffles. Come join us, Lake Havasu, next weekend for the 41st anniversary Western Outdoor News Striper Derby. This is a great tournament. I fished it in the early 80s with my uncle. This is a long tradition of lots of families fishing in, these, in this derby that Billy just announced. You can sign up it online at this website for next weekend or this coming Friday on the 5th, you can sign up in Lake Havasu at the new Riviera Marina between hours of 4 and 6 p.m. First up in the news, uh, in the striper world, we held our annual spring striper tournament. This year's theme was Blazing Stripers. We had a pretty decent turnout, not as big as years past, but all the regulars were there. It was just like a big family. We all had a great time, and uh, there was a lot of great competition out there. Uh, we did barbecue. This was a two-day tournament, so we did feed all the entrants. Both days, there was prizes and some giant trophies, and there were some great fish being caught. The results for that, in the shore divisions, fishing only against other shore fishermen, was a guy that usually gets a trophy every year by the name of Tim Chow and his partner, first place. In second place were the Bobby Sanchez and Latham team. They are the defending champions of the shore division from last year and they took second place. Taking third place after not fishing in the tournament last year but placing in the hardware the previous year, Gabriel Rosales. We got a boat coming. One second. So for the boat division, fishing only against other boats, first time competitors in the tournament and local legend in the hunting world, Billy Secor and his grandson, Lane Vansel. I didn't want to mess that one up, Lane Vansel, uh, taking first prize, fishing down in the lower needles area on the river. They were able to put together two decent bags, two days in a row to take first place. In second place, Todd Johnson and the Bill Group. These guys fish it every single year. We have a lot of good times with these guys. And boy, are they fun after the trophies come out and the beers are open. These boys know how to have some fun. So it's always enjoyable to have them around. And in third place, Rob Peterson. He's been coming to the shop for the last couple of years, getting into the program on Catch and Fish. He and his son went home with the trophy for the boat division, taking third place. All right, next in news was the Juan Bass Laughlin Open held on Lake Mojave. This was held last Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And boy, did we have a lot of challenges in this tournament. I fished in this tournament as well. And man, the first day was canceled due to very high winds. The National Park Service pulled the permit and called it off. It was that nasty. However, the next day we were all able to get out, but under the thumb knowing that Friday was most likely gonna be canceled and this could turn out to be a one day shootout. And boy, did the pressure go on to everybody. It was a madhouse out there, everybody grinding away because we knew we only had one day to make that big check. And congratulations to Kevin Wiggins with 21.3 pounds taking home $15,000 
and a brand new Bass Cat, uh, Bobcat. I just want to get the model right. So a brand new bright red Bass Cat Bobcat. Congratulations to Kevin. That was a hard fought and very well earned win. A bit of news before we get to the fishing report. The city of Bullhead has partnered with us to hold a fishing seminar for locals or those that come and fish the area or visitors that come in from out of town. If you're in town, live in town, or gonna be in town, this coming Saturday, May 6th, this is gonna be held at 11 a.m. at the Recreation Center next fall, right behind the Senior Center. This seminar is not like the pay seminar that we had at the tackle shop, although there's gonna be plenty of info. This seminar is geared to the brand new fisherman, the novice, or someone that's looking to improve their game a little bit. But this is an introduction into fishing. We'll also have fishing game there talking about boating safety and regulations. We're gonna give you the lay of the land. The city is putting this on, so please do not call the tackle shop for information. You can call Karen at the city of Bullhead at this number and extension. You must pre-register. This is a free event. There will be a lunch truck there for lunch, expect it to run about three to four hours long. But again, pre-register at this number here, and we'll see you next Saturday with some great fishing lessons and some talks from Fishing Game and some of the local biologists around here. Really get you tuned in and get you out there catching some fish. Okay, <clears throat> now onto the fishing report. We're starting up at the top of Willow. The bite's on, night bite for the stripers. They're stalking trout every single week, so the stripers are up there. The spawn is on, these fish are going nuts. Big swim baits, big surface baits, and jerk baits are the call. You're catching them all, all day long, 24 hours a day, but the nighttime bite is where it's at. Tons of trout around, take your kids out there. Power bait, worms, excuse me, night crawlers, power bait. And again, the rooster tells it's the same repeat carbon copy, but they are stocking every week. So get up there, you can get yourself some trout, maybe get into one of those big striped bass. Now down into the Cottonwood and Princess Cove area, the bass bite is, is there, you gotta scratch for it. We've had wind with water temperatures, yo-yo and up and down from 59 degrees to 68 degrees. One day cold, one day hot, one day windy. It's really scattering these fish around. These fish are staging up. You're gonna notice a lot of empty beds around. But hey, if you see those beds that are empty in the morning, come back later in the day. Those staging fish may have moved up onto these beds to get the process going again. We are catching fish as deep as 60 feet and as shallow as one foot. Drop shot, definitely the way to go. Berkeley, flat warm, way to go and crankbaits, deep diving dark crankbaits out on the main points where those main ledges are, where you're at about 20 feet and drop way down off into the deep. There's where you're gonna find some of those bigger smallmouth. Down at the Catherine's Landing area, the spawn on the smallmouth in that area is over. Those fish have moved off the beds. They are all in post spawn and we've got largemouth bass that are starting to move up in stage. Some are on beds. Most are still in the staging area, but those fish with the full moon coming up, we think those fish are gonna move up onto the beds and there's gonna be a lot of good bed fishing going on in the Captain's Landing area in the next week or so. Down below Davis Dam in the Laughlin and Bullhead area, the striped bass action is on fire again. Salted anchovies, frozen sardines, live black and salties, bright pink swim baits, trout colored swim baits, trout colored jerk baits, hot pink swim baits, and baby blue with the white swim baits and even some of the darker blues are working spoons not so much but the, definitely the jerk bait swim bait game is working all the other frozen baits and live baits working all the way down through the needles area whether you're from the shore or the boat get out there catch some of these striped bass it's on we got warm weather it's going to be a little bit of wind going on between the uh between days next week you just find those little windows when you can get out there and the fish are biting we're going to see you next week. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe.